This looks good. Vegan? Oh, shoot! Uh oh, yeah, that yeah, did yeah, sound good. This. Well, we have kids in here. This is not. This is not a studio. <laughs> Listen, if we want to get the studio, oh we should have rented our own boat. And we really shouldn't be baking on a Monday because we got a lot of work to do. Which is that. That's how accidents happen. We are world towning. Jessica, Will, Avalon, and Largo. Our family has been traveling the world since 2014 until COVID hit. Rather than return to the U.S., we decided to buy a boat and learn to sail in France. Hit the subscribe button and join us every Friday when we share our stories as a liveaboard family while experiencing cultures from around the world. Will and I have two modes, preparation and action, and they are both done at 100% speed and intensity. We're putting on the finishing touches at this point, and this one here has slept in days. Has <laughs> slept in days. Can you tell? It is one of the reasons why we have been able to maintain a full-time travel lifestyle for six years. And because we were so determined, this leads to the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Can you say goodbye to our home? Yeah. That's someone else's home. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh no, don't get an accident first thing out of the game. She's good to us, she's gonna be good to someone. It's okay, I'll see you. Oh, come here, it's okay, you can have emotions. We realize that there needs to be a balance, and that is why we are so looking forward to casting off to the sea. The ocean has a unique way of slowing things down just enough and putting everyone on an equal level, which is what we are all about. But until then, we are now sitting, or better put, floating, at a marina taking care of life and learning how to figure out our new living environment. Join us as we settle into marina life and discuss more of what we believe in most. All right, welcome to a windy, cold November day where... Oh, oh, sorry. So cold. <laughs> this is not how I envisioned my sailing life. Well. I think that someone actually designed lockdown to occur when it's cold and windy <laughs> and nasty. Because at this point, there's nobody here, and I don't think anyone cares to go out in their boats because it's just disgusting. There's about, what, six people on the dock, and we, we take up four of them. Listen, so you do the math. I have a feeling that because there's nobody here, that we're going to sort of have a real hard time on a good, getting adjusted to this life. And if if we're on, on a passage, and this is making me really think about what life is going to be like on a passage. It's not going to be this cold, is it? Yeah, but is it going to be like this isolating? Are we going to feel like like we're like totally like locked into a cage with no one around? And we're like, I don't know, having battle royales. Anyway, let's if not I'm go in a there. a bathing suit, I don't care. <laughs> we have a lot to do this week. There's a lot of repairs, a lot of things we have to look at. And, well... Even though we're alone, Largo has his toy that he's been chomping at the bit. And so cute. It's, it's really fun to watch him go crazy on his new Lego. Now, just a few days ago, I celebrated a birthday, and one of my gifts was a massive Lego. Avalon and I have been working around the clock trying to get it done, and finally, we are putting on the final touches. So we're putting on the last pieces of the Legos. Look at this. Largo, I cannot believe that this is sitting inside the boat. And... You realize this is like a moving vessel. You realize that this is not a thing that's gonna do well if we like hit big waves. You you know that, right? Yeah. Gonna be recreating the um, scene in Spider-Man Homecoming where like they drop the entire thing. Right, well, where are you gonna put this anyway? Do you know? Um, I'll probably when when it's just regular, probably like here or here, and then maybe when um we're gonna have this eyesore just sitting in the middle of the room constantly. Yes, Is that it what will be saying? a very good um topic of conversation. Mm. Are, and there, are there plans, Largo, to, to use like super glue to put it to get uh, to keep it together? How dare you! Seriously? Legos people do not use super glue. Oh, I think Lego people who live on a boat do use super glue. Well, they just rebuild it and all, rebuild all it. All I know is Logger's that um, the first big, big wave that comes, I hope you, you still have the instruction manual. <laughs> I'll cover it in bubble wrap. Bubble, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Today is banana bread bake, blah, blah, blah. banana bread baking day. We got a bit overzealous with provisioning for a lockdown and we were a little crazy on the bananas. So now we have enough bananas to make about five banana breads, but today we're just gonna stick with one. And someone told me the other day that, ooh, that one looks pretty bad, that if you have bananas on the boat, it's actually bad luck. Um, I also heard that if you're not actually sailing on the boat yet, it's okay and it's not bad luck. What do you think, Will? I think that we haven't even, we didn't even know how to sail, so 
I think all rules are out the window for us until we actually get a license and we can move. I'm a bit superstitious though. Like I, I was the one who really didn't want to change the name. I mean, I like the name of the boat, but I also didn't want to risk leaving the name someplace on a towel or something here and then find out that we were actually jinxing the boat. So what do you guys think? Do you guys believe in superstitions on boats? Should we be concerned or worried about the bananas or the name or anything like that? No. Largo says no from the cockpit. So for lack of a measuring cup, we basi we're basically using a coffee mug, right? <laughs> We've been doing that for years traveling. As long as you keep the measurement consistent. Oh, I forgot I put that in there. The bay leaf. Keep the bugs away. Apparently they don't like the smell of bay leaves. We're all about prevention when it comes to the bugs and the rodents in here. After having that rat in our RV, we're scarred for life. Keep referencing that rat in the RV. It's traumatic. I mean, this is kind of insane. Last night we heard this mouse like running all through here. He actually opened up the, the shade over there. It's here. It's, it's not in this guy. How do you know? He um, likes things he can bury in. I think he's in the chairs. I really do. I think so too. We think we think he's like hanging out in these things right over there underneath that. Um, right here is like where the jack is for the car. If, no, if he's underneath there, we're gonna have to go ahead and get a massive stick. Largo, where's your sticks? Absolutely not. You are not touching my precious sticks. <sighs> I'm ready for Ava. <coughs> I bet they don't have mice there. Oh, I bet you they have mice there. <laughs> Gonna be in a lifetime of therapy because of that. All right, in with the flour. Alvin, do you know where the baking powder is? <laughs> Top shelf is in there. It's in the back. Oh, it's in the back. Okay, well, can you get the baking? Where is this thing? It's on the top shelf. Top shelf. Is it in French? No, is it's it? English. You sure about that? Possibly. How do we get baking powder in English? You got me. It's a really old one. Oh, it's old? Oh, that sounds promising. So six years old from when we lived in the U.S.? <laughs> what else do we have? Usually the baking stuff's on the Here right. Here it is, though. baking powder. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow, that, that is old. How do we get this? I have no idea. It expired like five years ago. <laughs> you could probably still use this stuff, right? We can do our best. I don't think it's going to kill us. Listen, this is our little home home kitchen. This is the best kitchen we've had in, in years. So It is the best. It's, it is. I'm pretty sure. The last time that. we had a kitchen this nice was in Ecuador, right? This this is nice too, though. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a blessing to actually be able to bake something, even though Will and I are really bad at baking. Look at that. Wow, well, oh wow, well, oh wow. Look it at smells that. good, looks good. It's a little toasty there on the back side. But Are you supposed to flip it? You're gonna have to like tap it. It's hot, so be careful. Oh, there we go. Oh boy, oh, it looks delicious. You want half? That's delicious. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see the steam coming off it? Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. All right. What do you think, Largo? It looks amazing. Well, I thought you didn't like banana bread, Largo. Are we changing our tune? I don't, I didn't like your other banana bread. This one. This is the vegan one. Oh. And it's much moister and really, oh my God, look Moist. at that. <gasps> it's very exciting. You know, it's also very exciting as well. The day that we get our bike tires fixed. Those things are sitting there. We look like a junk pile out here. We should do that today. I think we should just get that done. You want to do it after banana bread? Sure. Come and on. after the flags and Ooh. after. What is that in there? So some of the things that we're trying to do now that we are in precarious situations. Sitting uh, on a hopper. Oh, sorry for the squeaky floor, guys. I know. We're we're replacing things that we would have wanted to have replaced before our lessons but didn't get done because quite frankly we can have a flashlight. But there's a light up here that we need to have done. Um, we're learning real fast how to take care of things. We've gotten an electrical meter. 
listen, you're talking about a guy at this point who, uh, as much as we've been traveling for about six years, this was never our thing. We always rented apartments. And before that, I was an accountant. So, you know, just, just you know, give me a, a disclaimer on this. So I'm learning as we go. But um, this is going to give us, at this point, the ability to do laundry in the middle of the night. Although... Is that not... something you think we're going to do? Is laundry in the middle of the night? No, because we can't dry in the middle of the night. But, but if we wanted to, <laughs> we actually could. But this is... Check this out. So you see this right over here. This, these are like live wires. There was a, there was a fixture that was up there. I just took it down. I need to go ahead and put these into here. And very, very simple. I am, I try and make myself feel very proud and very validated about myself if I can do the little things. Because once again, it's the little things that make you feel more confident to do the bigger things. And so if I can get a simple light bulb, I say simple, but if I can get a light bulb to start, then Next thing you know, I'm changing the engine. We're, we're in. Avala, can you turn on the port lights, please, honey? Thanks. All right, are you ready? I think we can got this. We're ready. Go ahead. Yay! Yay! It's the little wind. All right. Hey. hey, nothing's blowing up. No here. negativity from the from the saloon. From the angry teenager. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. All right, put no, it it's in. Good, it's good. It's good. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, right screw there it you in. go. Yeah, we just got to screw it in. And that's right. it. Cool. And as far as the wires are concerned, there's a little bit of give up there, so there's room for it to breathe. The actual sort of connector between on the 12 volt. So, um, yeah. This is this is success for us. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. Let's move on to bigger things. So in the meantime, I think it's time that we get into dinghy naming mode. We got a lot of names to go over. So here we are. Largo's eating his cheese sandwich. Um, but we're really here to talk about the dinghy names. So I'm just going to cut to the chase. The first list is the dinghy names that people on Instagram suggested. And then there were suggestions in a little jar we had from our family. The damn dinghy. The damn dinghy. <laughs> it's a Percy Jackson joke. Was that you or your sister? Mm -hmm. No, her. it was, it was me, her. but it's that a Percy was... Jackson joke. Or is it a bad word? No, no, it's a Percy Jackson joke. All right, friend. Oh, I like that. Friendship and little friend. Hmm, nice There's story. an issue with that. What's the issue with that one, guys? One of you guys said something about You're that. You're not supposed to put like the name of your boat or near the name of your boat on your dinghy, because then if you drive the dinghy someplace and someone sees it, they know, oh, your boat is empty because the dinghy's away from it. As you can tell, we're a little paranoid here. <laughs> uh, okay, end game. Oh, I like that one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, that one has a couple meanings too. That, that's, that, 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 strikes, that strikes to home, doesn't it? So how does it strike you and Largo to home? Um, end game was, well, I guess that's Marvel movies. So um, end game is one of the Marvel movies, the I best love one. Marvel. Um, I'm not really drawn to end game as the dinghy name. What now? The damn dinghy? That one? See, she's even accepted the name of the damn No, we've got a whole list. And, okay. <laughs> um, and then the other reason for Endgame is Will and I always said the boat was our end game. Not that we were done traveling, but it was our end game to our style of traveling, that we would travel only by boat after that. Let's so. hurry it up, though. Seriously, we've taken like three minutes okay. for all these. Avalar. Things. Okay, that's cute. Citronade. Hmm. Dingaling the dingy. Wait, wait, Citronade. Oh, Citronade. Sorry, Citronade. Did you want to talk about that one? Yeah, that's uh, our... It means lemonade in right, French. Right, lemonade yeah. in French. I like that. Liberté. Equality. Egalité. Egalité. No, that's equality. That's, that's not even a word. Someone oh spelled it wrong. Oh my gosh. Are we, uh, <laughs> listen, are we much. just trying to suck up to get a long-term visa extended? Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to take a snack break. All right. Then we have, we have World to Towning Junior. Mm -hmm. La Jua. Oh, it's our initials. Mm. L-A-J-W. Um, the Rad Ride. I really like that one. Did you? That sounds like something Largo would say. Did you just do the rad ride? I yeah. knew it. Wait, what? No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, okay. Um, Camino. I don't know who picked that one. Oh, I really? Love so Camino. difficult. We're, we're always on on our Camino, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Um, Jarvis, the Rat Racer, Limonade. You can take it from here. All right, and so the following comments are from you guys on YouTube of names for the dinghy. Jenny. I like and these that. are the like vetted our favorites. Yeah, the vetted, I guess. Are, well, we cannot go through all of them. You're right, there were a lot of them. Tender love. Which is cute. How do you say friendship. that one in French? No, in Spanish. Amistad. Amistad. Mino. 
No, that, that's just minnow. Oh, minnow. I said Gilligan's <laughs> Island. I'm trying to sound all French. Minnow. Um, little, little, little buddy. Oh, that's cute. Little friendship. Oh, I like that. Friendship and little friendship. Lamu. What's that? Larmu. Larmu. Largo and moo. <laughs> you're Largo, you're moo. <laughs> I don't know. Companionship. Oh, that's cute. Who goes well with friendship? Okay, you, you want to read the last two or are you busy eating stuff? Namaste. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Namaste. Oh, I like that one. Namaste. And Buddy. Buddy. All right. Favorites? I really liked Endgame, but now having heard companionship a couple times, I really like that one too. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> I like Endgame. I like companionship. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You do? Uh oh. We might have a tie. <laughs> well, Dad. I, I personally Come like Endgame and companionship, to tell you the truth. <gasps> however, Okay, you want to do However, but since since the whole thing of like not wanting to reveal our name, would some can someone sort of tie companionship to friendship? Is that like a mean? thing? Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why don't we let the viewers decide? Or at least let them Wanna let them vote? But let them vote about which one they think is better. Okay, so it's between Endgame and companionship? <laughs> Endgame and companionship, I think yes. So. Okay. I, I really like them both. And if you're the one who suggested companionship, make a little note of it on the when you make when you comment, because I don't remember who it was. Um, and Endgame was suggested by um, Gina on Instagram and she was um, one of our Morocco group trip attendees last year. So thank you, Gina. She knows our family very well. So <laughs> are we good? How's that sandwich? All right, guys, place both your votes. Both for Endgame and Companionship. I love them both, so I can't say we one can of them. We can call it Companionship Endgame. Or Endgame Companionship. Mm -hmm. Or EC. And yes, we will take your comments into account when we choose the winner. So, bring it on. Comment down below which one is your favorite. In the meantime, we have a little more personalizing to give to Friendship. So, as part of our world towning, decorating... I guess initiation into 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 this life of boating we have recognized the fact that we are a British flag vessel but that doesn't mean that we can't put our our national colors which is the USA so we're having our flag raising <laughs> ceremony right now we we realized that we can go ahead we we can put on flags that are not like the the courtesy flag which is the French flag that we have here we're having our stars and stripes the USA flag being put on which is a really proud moment for us so right here the kids are doing it and so for those of you who are unfamiliar the courtesy flag, flag like Will said is on the starboard side and it's the French flag right now and you're only allowed to hang that one flag of the country you're in with your boat at that time on that side so over here on the port side we are able to hang any other flags that we want like Will said we're American we're proud to be American so hanging that flag and we're gonna call this our equality yardum so we're also hanging our gay pride flag and any other flags or any travesties that happen throughout the world that we feel it's necessary to kind of shout from the rooftop of our boat give honor um, to give honor to we're going to show our support for we're going to try and find a flag it's not always that easy but if we find a flag we're going to attach it and we're going to hoist it up here um, because that's what we do we're all about humanitarianism and equality so the kids have taken on the task are we ready guys all right guys let's raise them up Let's, let's get that up there. Honorary flag raisers on SV Friendship. Are we allowed to do this? Is there like a special flag permission thing that you need to do this? Because I know there's a bunch of rules after the flags. There we go. Dad got the permission, so don't worry. Did we, you? We're allowed to be out during quarantine just to do this. <laughs> Ten wow. shots. Would you have to ask to do that, Dad, President Macron? There's an app for that. <laughs> do you want to touch it up? I'll have to have it like this and then. Okay, so one of the things that we've done to make this life a little bit more of our own, to basically basically take control of what we're calling lockdown 2020 winter style, um, is that this marina, which is all our own, we are we're taking advantage of that fact. And look at this. I have right here arranged for a private <laughs> serenader of Avalon, and Largo is going to be, check this out, he is right over there. He's got gondolier classes. When we were in Venice, he actually learned how to become a gondolier. There you go. How's it feeling, Largo? All right, Good. Largo. What does it feel like to be a gondolier today? Good. How does it feel like to be 10 years old today? Good. Look forward, Is there anything bad today? No. And so, at this point, Largo, you will be our trusty steed, <laughs> taking us around. We have a date today. Are you bringing wine? 
We are bringing wine. It's in the backpack, right, Will? It's in the backpack. Look Thank at you. that, Largo. Largo, none of that for you. You get water. Largo's got Twizzlers. Something <laughs> every gondolier wants and has in their back pocket, right, Largo? <laughs> um, a big thank you to everyone for commenting about us with the life jackets and the kill switch. We did not have them on because it was the first time off the dock, the first time the dinghy started, and we were overly excited to get out. That is no excuse. We have them on now. Thank you for everyone who commented. We appreciate you looking out for our safety. So, thank you. All right. Start up, Largo. Um. You ready for the romantic date? I'm just happy to be off the boat. Romance with it? I'm up for that. All right, just a little bit of bread. And for you, Yum. a little bit of cheese. Are we gonna share Did you this? bring a knife? No, we don't need a knife. We all, like, brought antibacterial though. And listen, we've had a rough couple weeks in terms of getting ourselves ready. And I think we deserve to give ourselves a little bit of rest because to be honest, if we're gonna be on a COVID pause, let's enjoy this as much as possible. I think this is kind of drink drinking and driving, isn't it? This is not drinking I'm and not driving. The dr I'm, I'm not drinking, so. <laughs> You're, this is a stretch limousine by all I know at this point. And we're gonna take advantage of this because the whole thing has a big sunroof on it. So we're pretty excited about that. I think we were meant for this, Jess. Dinghy sailing? That's right. We're not meant for regular sailing. But this will have to do for now. Listen, I could do this all winter. I would like to have socks on next time because my feet are getting cold. But I do have this nice warm winter coat. We'll come out here for a rosé every now and then. Pretend we're someplace really warm with crystal clear water and that we've been sailing all day long. On our, on our five foot dinghy here. And with that, another week is in the books, which means we are that much closer to our eventual sailing lessons, which from what we are hearing may happen sooner than we think. So let's catch you up with what's going on back inside. But in the meantime, isn't it beautiful? Hello, and welcome back to our Cité. Welcome back to our home. Welcome back to our life. Welcome back to friendship. It's actually, I'm, I'm getting so used to that name now, friendship. Yeah, that sounded really nice to say it out loud because before we just called her the boat. The boat. But now, sort of with you, we're giving, we're calling her a formal name because she deserves. She demands that. She demands her name. She demands that. Friendship. All right, so let's talk about friendship and when she's going to leave the dock and so forth and so on because that's really the reason why you are, you're here to watch a sailing family sail. You really don't think they're here to watch us sit at the dock? Nah. <laughs> All right, so, oh, I got a text. Oh, why don't you just text me? You said you do want to watch us sit at the dog. There you okay. go. Okay. All right, so here's the deal. Um, we are actually looking forward to getting off the dock, possibly in about a month. Word on the street is that the president may open the country up for two to four weeks. And if that does happen, long story short, our instructor is willing to come down here and get us off the dock in under 24 hours notice, giving us enough time to provision, enough time for him to spend time with his family for Christmas, and then we're off. So the, gre the greatest Christmas present we'll have for ourselves and for you is maybe sailing videos coming up. Oh, wouldn't that be fun if we had our Christmas hats on and we were out on like a Christmas day sail? There's a lot of things that we have to do. <sighs> Listen, okay. decorations happening soon. Anyway, um, let's let's move on real quick because we don't want to spend all day here chatting with you because you already watched like 20 minutes of other stuff. Uh, <laughs> let, let's chat about the flag and the raising that we did and our, our premise on equality because we chatted about it sort of briefly up on the deck, but I think we have to give a little bit more clarity because you guys deserve it. And I think you, Will came to me and he said, do you think we should talk about this or do you think we should just kind of not bring it up and just toe the middle of the line that it's pretty much understood if you've watched our vlogs or seen our business that we do believe in equality humanitarianism women's rights all that stuff and i said to him no i think i think our community needs to know where we stand on this um that we really truly do believe in equality and humanitarianism <laughs> humanitarianism um, and if we don't share this with you, um, it kind of feels like you're missing a part of our story. Right. And, and you know, a lot of people will say, why are you talking about this stuff? It's just going to go ahead and make people sort of click away. Right. Maybe, uh, maybe. But I think at this point, 
we want to be totally transparent and we think that since you're giving us your attention, we want to be 100% honest with and you. And I guess since I'm the eternal optimist, will you know, most people would think that, oh, this is really going to hurt your channel, but I just don't see how two people sitting here saying we are open-minded and accepting of every um, race, religion, culture, um, gender, creed, so forth and so on, sexual preference, all of it. I don't know how that could hurt a channel. That would be frightening to me to think that um, we would lose a lot of followers because we believe in treating people equally, you know, two people sitting at the same table and treating them completely equal. And we are raising the next generation um, of change makers. And it's really important for us to operate our lifestyle like this for our children as well. What I think is really important is that Listen, if you are, if you're in tune with our story, we've been traveling now for six years and everywhere that we've gone, whether we put it on video or Instagram or Facebook, we don't touch Twitter. Uh, <laughs> we've always shown how great this world is and to, to, to live in, in, in an idea and a mindset where sort of you don't understand, that's okay because you haven't traveled, perhaps. Yeah. Um, but then trust those who have traveled and for us we've seen the world for the most part we've seen a lot of the world and if there's it's one good. It, it, it's actually really good and, people are really good and and if there's listen you think the world is really good i think the world's very consistent and the world is and I'm, I'm more thinking like like the practical side is that if there's jerks next to you where you live there's gonna be jerks in Turkey, there's gonna be jerks <laughs> in in France, but there's also gonna be good people like your neighbor who you really like. There's that person's gonna sit somewhere else too, and for the most part, there are and, more good people than bad people. And you're not gonna get to know these good people out in the world as you're traveling or vacationing or whatever, if you do not see them as an equal and support equality and kind of take yourself out of your comfort zone and go meet someone who may live differently than you. Uh, and that's really, really important. It's a very important for us to share that with you guys. So you kind of know, you know, the, the story behind the two of us, right? Will and I are very, very rarely discriminated against. It's happened to me as a female. It's happened to him as a Latino man. Um, it's happened a lot because of our travel lifestyle, I will say. But in general, we have a pretty good, pretty easy, pretty accepting, people are accepting of us. So one would think, well, why don't you just go on with your life and enjoy it and take and take and take and who the heck cares about equality for other people? Um, that's not the way we operate. We yep. will always, always fight for those who are underserved. You will be on a group trip with us one day, and this is a true story, where we'll be in a country where it's okay for a man to just push a woman on the street. It will happen, and one of us will stand up for you because that's not okay. It's not okay to discriminate or treat someone poorly because they're of a different gender. But yeah. I think what you need to understand is this is who we are. This is how we operate. You this can is see what this. we do. We're not going to go ahead and film ourselves being good people to the world because we're just naturally sort of, I think, good people. But, <laughs> but, that is not going to be sort of like Will and Jessica's conquest to save the world. <laughs> because it's because just, it's just how we live. It's just how we live. And, yeah. and we think you deserve to hear that part of us. And so so I guess thank you for being here. Thank you for being good humans. Um, if you're going to call us mean names or say this political, you know, take it elsewhere. We're here. We're here to spread or love. Or call us mean and, names. We're yeah, pretty thick-skinned. I guess. It's no big deal. Um, we're here to spread love and kindness and be supportive for, for everyone out there. So, All right. Thank With you, guys. that, we're being set. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Every good piece of banana bread is layered with a big slab of French butter. At least that's what my grandmother always said. Just butter. She didn't have French butter, but... Oh, God. You ready? Mm. You don't, oh, you don't want butter? I don't like okay. butter. All right. I'm going to be the first to taste it. Unless Lago beats you. I was gonna say unless Lago beats me to it. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Oh, that's good if I do say so myself. <coughs> You're funny. No more then. I'll eat it. <laughs>